Gibbs, Bob Bankin, and Doug Hurley aboard the Crew Dragon spacecraft, we are moments away from opening the hatch and welcoming, welcoming them aboard the International Space Station. There's the hatch to the Crew Dragon. And with that, the hatch is open 12.02 p.m. Central Time, 1.02 p.m. Eastern. Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley open the hatch to the International Space Station after launching from American soil on a U.S. vehicle for the first time in nine years, the first time ever for a commercially built spacecraft. Chris, we see you trying. We're still not hearing the MCC. We're working on it. We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. And Station Houston, we see you, and it, it's a great-looking photograph. Uh, so thanks for that. Stand by one. We'll call you when we're, we're ready for the event in the next few seconds. Got a whole bunch of very uh, happy and grateful people making their way into MCC right now. Demo 2 crew now aboard the International Space Station. They entered at 12.22 p.m. Central Time. The station at the time was 262 statute miles over Turkmenistan.
and station, we're just about ready. Stand by. All right, station, it's Houston on Space to Ground 2. Confirm that you are ready for the event. Houston, this station, we are ready for the event. Copy that. And, sir, Administrator Bridenstine, welcome to MCC. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is the NASA Administrator. Can you hear me? We hear you loud and clear, sir. Welcome to the space station. Thank you, Chris. It's good to see you. And welcome to Bob and Doug. I, uh, I will tell you, the whole world saw this mission, and we are so, so proud of everything you have done for our country and, in fact, to inspire the world. We sure appreciate that, sir. It's uh, obviously been our honor to be just a small part of this. Uh, we have to give credit to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and of course NASA. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. Well, we have some, uh, some VIPs with us here, and I'm, I'm sure they have some questions that they'd like to ask you, but uh, I have one of my own before I turn it over. And I just wanted to, to find out if you guys got any sleep on your way up there the last, uh, I'd say, I get 19 hours. Did you guys get any sleep? Yeah, I think a lot of folks in Hawthorne were asking the same question, sir, but uh, we did get probably a good seven hours or so opportunity for sleep, and uh, I did succeed at sleep, and I dug it as well. So uh, the first night is always a little bit of a challenge, but uh, the Dragon was a, a slick vehicle, and uh, we had good airflow, and so we had an excellent, excellent evening and uh, just excited to be back uh, in low Earth orbit again. Amazing. Well, <clears throat> one of the people that, uh, that is here with us today is um, Senator Ted Cruz, and of course he's a huge advocate of America's space program. And he's been, uh, you know, somebody who has helped us so much as we transition from one administration to the next administration. And the reason missions like this can have success is because of continuity of purpose. Um, and Senator Ted Cruz was a leader on a bill called the American, uh, uh, the NASA Transition Authorization Act. And um, because of that, uh, we have had a lot of political support, and we're very grateful for his leadership. Senator Cruz, would you like to say a few words? Well, congratulations, gentlemen. The eyes of the world are upon you, and everyone is proud of you. All of the America is watching you, and today and yesterday represent big, big days. Uh, we're looking at a decade since we've had American astronauts launched on an American ship from American soil. And I can tell you I sat with my wife and kids in our living room watching on TV yesterday, and I suspect we did what just about everyone watching did, including both of you, which has held our breath as it took off. And we're glad to see you've landed safely. We're glad to see you've docked. Uh, and, and so let me ask you, that Dragon is, is, is an amazing vehicle. How does she handle? It uh, flew just like it was supposed to. It was, uh, we had a couple opportunities to uh, take it out for a spin, so to speak, uh, once uh, after we got into orbit last night, and again uh, today, about uh, 20 minutes before we docked. And uh, my compliments to the folks back at uh, Hawthorne and SpaceX for uh, how well it flew. It uh, is exactly like the simulator, and uh, we couldn't be uh, happier about the performance of the vehicle. What do you guys hope to accomplish in your time on the International Space Station? Well, while we're on board the space station, of course, uh, with the new spacecraft, we do hope to put her through her paces. And so the good ship Endeavor is going to get a lot of a uh, checkout over the next uh, week or two here. 
and hopefully we'll be able to uh, declare her operational and Doug and I will be able to take some burden off of uh, Chris and his crewmates, Ivan and Anatoly, so that uh, we can keep the space station operating at its uh, peak possibilities. So we're looking forward to contributing any way that we can and, uh, like I said, trying to keep space station as productive as possible. As a country, we're in the midst of a tough week. We're seeing protests. We're seeing a lot of anger. We're seeing violence. And I have to say this launch and y'all's docking is, is, is a powerful inspiration of what we can do when we come together, of the power of unity, uh, the power of ingenuity. And, and, and so I guess the last question I would ask you is, is, since you have the opportunity to address, in particular, all the young people in America, uh, what would you tell them in terms of what we can do when we can come together? You know, that's a great question. Nine years ago, uh, just about exactly nine years ago, we docked with Atlantis uh, on STS-135, the last flight of the space shuttle program, a 30-year program. And folks at SpaceX, folks at NASA, the commercial crew program put their heads together and worked diligently year after year, making sacrifices, working hard, and then nine years later, American launch capability was restored, and this is just one, one effort that we can show for the ages in this dark time that we've had over the past several months uh, to kind of inspire, especially the young people in the United States, to, to reach for these lofty goals and work hard and look what you can accomplish. Thank you, gentlemen. God bless you.